of God of Jacob. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Stay awake, for you do not know when the Son of Man will come. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. When Jesus looked up, he saw some wealthy people putting their offering into the treasury, and he noticed a poor widow putting in two small coins. He said, I tell you truly, this poor widow put in more than all the rest for those who offer, have all make offering from their surplus weller, but she from her poverty have offered her whole livelihood. The Gospel of the Lord. I thank you so much and welcome you for being here this morning. And we join one another to celebrate Mass. And yes, Governor Eastley, as you know, that the state of Washington, he wrote the letter to Archbishop and Religious Leader. I forward those uh, letters last night to all the leadership and the staff that he said during this time, it's very dangerous for the virus spreading out. And yes, he respect us, and he really very proud that we follow all the direction, and he only encouraging us that few very small things, and just asking us at the priest and the religious leader to share with you, number one, please very small thing but important, wear the face mask. Second, keep the distance six feet. Third, watching hand, and that keep not pressing out the virus. And for that, he advising and say that for Thanksgiving coming up, every one of us that want to have party and gather in the family, please, please, only immediate family, and don't, you know, gather around. And uh, I'm very impressed that the governor in our the state that respect our religion, he believe that worshiping and then being with the Lord is important. And I forward that letter, and I uh, very happy that someone who uh, you know uh, know what and then advising us in the right direction. And I also asking you, please do that. If you are, you know, coming into the church, wear face masks and keep so so distant and all that. Don't spend more time in the people who you do not know. But within your family, that fine. So even uh, Father Tim coming next week, and he asked me, Father Tuan, can I bring some friend of me to the rectory after mass for dinner? Say no, sorry, you can. Uh, do that somewhere else. I can let you in for sleep in your room, but don't walk around, you know. And so it's, it's all the things that we have to uh, vary if we follow those, and those are the important. Today we also hear the scripture reading, and one thing is very important. 
Yeezy's on, so notice. And I am noted today to Bob, uh, you the finance council, you are sending the mat this morning and carry the cross and hope that you carry the cross very light when you hear the gospel today. Yes, Jesus noted in the temple people coming in, rob the money in the treasury. And yet, Jesus know the people put in with the surplus of their wealth, the money that, you know, but the woman he noticed, but not this woman, yet regular woman, but widow. And see, Jesus also knows she very poor. She loved in two coins. And Jesus say, wow, this woman gave all of her livelihood into what she believed. And that's so powerful during this time. Yes, God gave us all the life, all things, and yet stressing about our life, and we scare, and it's very difficult. And yes, we come in at the treasury with the life that God gave. We gave back to the Lord what the Lord gave us. And cherry able, it quite of the challenging. But yes, during this time, Thanksgiving come. We thank God for the years that we have and all the blessing, even the challenging time. And I myself thanking every one of you. Even today, I thought that, oh, the mass, I have to do everything. But wow, boom out, Bob carried the cross. And then uh, Janet is just doing, oh, what should I do? And uh, LB say, Father, can I do this? I say, maybe during this coronavirus, let me set up this because I don't want the thing that we, you know, touching and then be closer, yet follow all the scientific mention. And so if someone can have the bell ringing at mass, that would be wonderful too. But again, uh, my wish, honestly, God say, for the turn, I will take care, just leave me do what I can do. So we gather here what the faith and please stand up so we offer our prayer at this time to the Lord with all we have and what we need to pray for as we say them. Let the church proclaim the good news of God's reign. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That wealthy nations seek particular practical ways to relieve the crushing depths of poor countries. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, and hear our prayer. That the sick, especially those close to death, rise to new life in Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, and hear our prayer. For the many caring stewards in our parish who have given generosity of their treasure in response to the many gifts God has given them. We ask that they may be supported in their effort on the continuous journey to becoming gifted and generous stewards. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, and hear our prayer. That the members of this community of faith be to one another a source of strength in trial. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, and hear our prayer. For all those who have died, that they may enjoy the fullness of God's heavenly glory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, and hear our prayer. We offer now our personal intentions. For these and all the prayers entered in our book of prayer and those that are held in our hearts, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, and hear our prayer. We ask you to place upon the sick of our parishioner who are not able to join us. We ask you to place upon those who are mourning for their loved one and those who are in the hospital. We ask you to place upon the prayer we present to you today. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
This is a you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, food of the earth, and work of human hand. It will become for us the bread of life. May the water and wine become the divinity and humanity of Christ who bless upon us. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, food of the vine and work of human hand. It will become our Holy Spirit to drink. Lord, receive my sacrifice in human hearts. Lord, wash away my iniquity and free me from my sins. Pray now that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, the secret offering with us your binding we dedicate to your name and in order that through this gift we may become worthy of your love, grant us unfailing obedience to your commands through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word, through whom you make all things, whom you send as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit, and bonds of the virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice. We acclaim, uh, holy, holy, holy Lord. God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are in this holy, O Lord, the fonts of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray by sending down your spirits upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this off of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciple, saying, Take this off of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the plus of the new and eternal covenant which will be poor for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this 
in memory of me. The mystery of faith we proclaim Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of His death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have helped us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered raised into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread through all the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Paul, our Bishop, and all the clergy, Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That's with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the age. We may merit to be co-heir to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is your forever and ever. Amen. At the Savo command and from the divine, at the Savo command, at the Savo command, and formed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, our, hallowed be thy name, and thy kingdom come. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, races, later and peace in our day that by the helping of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who say to your apostle, Peace, I leave you my peace. I give you look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you. Let us offer his author the sign of peace and love. Um, Lamb of, of God, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter my roof. But I say the word, my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, 
I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come and lead spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that those to whom you give the joy of participating in divine mysteries may never be parted from you through Christ our Lord. Uh, on Wednesday, some of the seminarians, you know Chad, the big guy, uh, he will be uh, back here until December for Christmas. And then Maximilian and then Patrick, he will uh, be here that uh, the week after uh, next week. 
And so please pray for the seminarian. And also I thank you that you heard the letter from our bishop and my letter pray over for the process and the meeting on the December 14. Please meet with the leader and if you have any question, just please let them know so they can communicate and represent you and try to get that day in for the meeting. Thank you for so generous even deal, during the most difficult time and continue to help and support the parish in what you able to do. So the Lord be with you. Um, May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Um, Amen. Go in peace and serve the Lord. Um,